mic that's up this matter. Okay. I mean, I'll wait till the game starts, though, no? Yeah.
Whoopsie. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Coming on. How you doing, buddy? Did you line up? Yeah, I'm trying pretty, to get my lineup. For the cop, oh, really other commentator? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm actually commentating. Oh, well, Vince is not coming? Vince is not here today, yeah, so. Yeah, it's like, and it's a great, it's a strong breeze, and uh, I need stuff. I need a clipboard. I need a clipboard, man. Uh, it's crazy. Yeah. This is, I wish I had one. Yeah. Hang on, let me see if he's got one. Right. You never know, that bag is good. I know. I know. Right. Watch on the on the um, TV. Like there's a few. Casey Duncan Squall. Lily Abendinger. There's a few of them. Four. Oh, wow. Sigorski, right? She's dead. For us? Number nine, yeah. Okay, welcome everyone to Christopher Columbus High School Field as your host Clifton Mustangs will be playing Passaic Valley Hornets today in a softball clack. Today Clifton comes into the contest with a record of two and two. First two games losses to Fairlawn and Paramus Catholic. Coming in with two consecutive wins versus Patterson Eastside and Patterson Kennedy. Passaic Valley comes in with a record of 4-0 with wins over Passaic, West Milford, Verona, and Wayne Hills. So they come in undefeated. 
Today, Passaic Valley versus Clifton. On the mound today for Clifton will be Sidney Reeb, sophomore pitcher. Behind the plate, Jackie Sikorsky, sophomore. Playing first base today, Jordan Kalesa. Second base will be Mia Joyce. Shortstop today will be Kira Coy, senior. Third base, Vanessa Zapata. Stepping into the plate is Casey DePasquale, who will lead us off for Passaic Valley. First pitch, high and away. Left field today for Clifton is Jazz Feliziano. Playing center, Izzy Franco. And in right today will be Jackie Vizcaino. Second pitch, grounded to third, foul. That'll level the count to one and one. Casey DePasquale will lead off for Passaic Valley, followed by Rachel Haraka and Lily Armendiger, who will be the pitcher for today for Passaic Valley. Reeb deals. Grounder again, foul. That'll bring the count to one and two. Clifton again coming in with an even record of two and two. Today playing, of course, Passaic Valley. Next game will be in two days at Passaic at 4.30. Cat is one and two, and skied high towards second base, and caught easily by the second baseman, Mia Joyce. So I'll be one away for Passaic Valley. Easy pop up there. Sydney Reeb gets the first out, and coming up to bat for Passaic Valley is Rachel Haraka. Rachel Haraka, a junior, playing second base today. First pitch, just upstairs, 1-0. and Looks like Clifton playing straight away. Second pitch grounded up the middle. Coy at shortstop, throws across the diamond in time. Nice play by Kara Coy. And that'll be two outs. Nice job by Kira Coy. Routine grounded is short. Cross the diamond to Jordan Kalesa, sophomore playing first base today. Up to bat now is Lily Almendinger. She'll be on the hill today for Passaic Valley, also batting third. First pitch in the dirt, 1 0. Temperatures today in the mid 60s, slight breeze to the north. Shouldn't play a factor at all in the game today. Second pitch flied out towards right field, and it is caught easily for the third out. Three up, three down for Passaic Valley today. Good job by Sidney Reeb, and Clifton will be coming up to bat. Okay, we're back. Now, bottom of the first. Lily Almendinger will be on the hill today for Passaic Valley. She's a sophomore. Behind the plate, Casey Dipasqual. She's a junior. Playing first base today for Passaic Valley, Mia Aquino, a senior. Second base, Rachel Haraka. She is a junior. Adriana Sabatino will be shortstop, and Bella Gomez will be playing third base. She's a junior. Out and left, Victoria DeMarco playing center, Ava Guarente 
And in right field today, junior Danica Pasucci. Leading off for Clifton will be Jackie Sikorsky. Jackie Sikorsky will be leading off Amendinger on the hill. And first pitch, outside 1-0. Jackie Sikorsky at the plate. Second pitch from Lily Amendinger is low, 2-0. Looks like Passaic Valley again playing straight away. Lily Amendinger on the hill for Passaic Valley. And third pitch down low, 3-0. Hitters count here for Sikorsky. Josie Sikorsky facing a 3-0 count. Does she get the green light? Looks good from here, and yes, it's a strike, 3-1. and one. Right down the middle, she had the take sign there. Now 3-1. High and away, so Clifton with its leadoff hitter on. Joyce Sikorsky drawing a walk. Hey, Kay, let's go, Kay. And Mia Joyce up to plate. Mia Joyce batting second, left-handed batter. Amendegger looks in. And first pitch to Mia Joyce is fouled left-hand side. 0-1. Clifton with its leadoff runner on with Joey Sikorsky drawing a walk. And fouled off. So kind of leaving up. Uh, I'm sorry, 0-2 right now. Amendinger is... Uh, also an outfielder. She averages 400 slugging percentage of 933. So she's a pitcher and a very good hitter for Psyche Valley. Psyche Valley again coming in 4 0. 0 2 pitch here to Mia Joyce. And yes, did nip the outside corner. That's a good pitch. So the strikeout there gets Mia Joyce and Kira Coy, who's playing shortstop today. Two sports star for Clifton. She also plays basketball. And she'll dig in with a man on, with a runner on first. Go, and Kira Coy looking to see if she can move her over. Amendinger looks into the catcher. Coy ready. And fly ball towards center, but it's caught. Line drive, she got a good piece on that. It was a good hit, but it was right at the center fielder, Ava Garente. Ava Garente was able to easily nab that. So that's two outs. Seven, eight. And stepping up to the plate, left-handed batter is Jordan Colessa. Jordan Colessa batting lefty, two outs. Runner on first. Lead off walk, still stranded there on first. Almondiger deals. And looks like the steal is on, and she's in there. Good steal. As she nabs second base on the steal. Throw was there, but just a little too late. Let's go, Jordan. What do you say, kids? So stolen base for Zakorski. Runner in scoring position. Amnigger digs in. And swing and a miss. Count levels to one and one. Clifton looking to score its first run of the game with a runner on second. Sikorsky drew the walk, stole second. Pitch. Looked good from here, but it looks like it's slowing away. Count goes to two and one. 
Amalir looks into her catcher. Catcher gets the sign from coach. And the 2 1. Fouled away. That'll even the count to 2 and 2. Jordan Kalesa, sophomore, batting 200 on the year. Has a single, couple ribbies. Looking to see if she can cash in here. 2-2 two, two count. And just low. Draws the count full. 3-2 count on Kalesa. She is batting cleanup today. A runner on second. Pitch. Swing and a miss, and that will retire the side. Clifton draws a walk, steals second. Man on uh, with a runner on second. Stranded the runner there, second base. So at the end of one, score is Clifton zero, the Sake Valley zero. We'll be back. We're back at Christopher Columbus Stadium. We are now in the top of the second. Leading off is Bella Gomez. Bella Gomez, Jr. Slugging percentage of 700. She averages 500. Has four ribbies so far in year, five hits in early part of the season. She is batting fifth, leading off the second, Bella Gomez. She digs in, Sydney Reeb, pitch, just a bit outside. Sydney Reeb able to get one, two, three, hitting the top half of the first. Passaic Valley coming in, scoring runs this season. They scored 17 in the first game against Passaic. Topped by 10 against Verona in their third game. Fly ball to center. Routine. And caught easily by the center fielder. Nice job. Good catch there by Izzy Franco. Routine's fly ball to center. And Bella Gomez is retired. Up next, Adriana Sabatino. Adriana Sabatino batting now, batting sixth for, uh, batting fifth rather for Passaic Valley. She digs in, first pitch. Strike, it's in there. Nice pitch by Sydney Reeve, draws count to 0-1. Adriana Sabatino is a sophomore. Slugging percentage of 615. That's foul left inside. Count to 0-2. She's batting 462 on the year. Two doubles. She has four hits, four singles, three ribbies, six total hits in the year, three runs scored. So productive season so far this year for Adriana Sabatino. She looks at a ball away. One and two. Sydney Reeve throwing ball away. One and two. Clifton again playing straight away. Sake Valley, as of yet, 
early part of the game has not had a runner on. Ground ball up the middle, clean base hit. And there is Passaic Valley with their first base runner of the game. Clean base hit up the middle for Adriana Sabatino. So runner on first. That will bring up Danica Pasucci. Danica Pasucci batting sixth. And first pitch fouled straight away back 0 and 1. Danica Pasucci Jr. So far batting 333 for the year. Does have four ribbies on this for early part of the year. Ball away. Evens the count at one and one. Sun's starting to come out a little bit here at Christopher Columbus Field. Pitch. Fly ball. Left field deep. And it's over the head. Ball comes in. Misses the cutoff, man. And that will allow Danica Pasucci to go to second base. So Feliciano out and left. It was overhead. It was well struck ball. So now they have runners at second and third. With one out, first pitch. Swing and a miss. Batting is Eva Garente. Eva Garente. Batting with two runners in scoring position. Eva Garente batting 182 in the early part of the year. That's ball inside. So we have Sabatino on third base and Danica Pasucci with back-to-back -back hits on second. Second and third, one out. Pitch. Looks inside. And I'll draw the count to two and one. Two-one pitch. Sydney Reed looking in, getting her signs. First threat of the ball game. Pitch. Ground ball towards third. Goes across the diamond, gets the out, comes back, but the runner is safe at third. That's a ribby for Ava Garente. Productive out as she draws in the run. So Sabatino scores. And Garente is out 6-3. But she counts as a ribby. Nice piece of hitting there by Ava Garente. Puts the ball in play. Now with two outs and a man on third. That would be Pasucci on third base. Pitch. Inside. I don't know. We got Mia Aquino batting. Mia Aquino, senior. Batting 333 early part of the year. Has a chance to draw on a run. Coy at third. Long throw across the diamond. Oh! oh. Looked like the ball was there, but the first baseman, Jordan Kalesa, could not haul in the, the throw by Kira Coy. That allows the runner to score. That would be Pasucci. That's the second run of the game for Pasig Valley. And Mia Aquino, good things happen when you put the ball in play. Brianna Marquez now at the plate. Pitch. Away 1-0. So that'll be an E3 to allow the run to score. Pitch upstairs, 2-0. So Mia Aquino is on first base. Two outs. 2-0 two Pasig Valley. Sydney Reeve looking to see if she can get out of this inning. Brianna Marquez at the plate. And she throws. Skies one left. It's a base hit. Avoids the left fielder which will allow Mia Aquino to get to second, and Brianna Marquez gets to second base. That would be possibly an error there, too, to allow the runners to advance. So that will be a base hit. And then an E7, which allows the runners to advance. 
So a single in an E7, and this brings up Victoria DeMarco. Again, runners second and third. Second time in this inning that there's two base runners in scoring position. Back to the pitcher, Reeb. Reeb will underthrow it to first baseman, which will allow Clifton to get out of the inning and escape without any further damage. But Passaic Valley does score two runs in the second inning with two runs, two hits, two errors, and two runners left on. At the, as we enter into the bottom half of the second inning, score, Passaic Valley two, Clifton coming up in the bottom half of the second, zero. We'll be back. Welcome back, everybody. We are now in the bottom half of the second inning. Passaic Valley did score two runs on the top half. They lead 2-0. Leading off for Clifton will be Izzy Franco. Isabella Franco, Jr., batting 286 in early stages of the year. Almond nigger on the hill. Deals. Fouled away. 0-1. Oh, almost hit the ambulance. She got to be careful over there. Clifton looking to see if they could bounce back, maybe score a run or two here in the bottom half of the inning. Leadoff hitter is Izzy Franco. And she's facing an 0 1 from Almendinger. Pitch sharply hit down the third base line. That'll be a base hit. Clean base hit for Izzy Franco. And she leads off Clifton. Good start for Clifton here in the bottom half of the second inning. Clean base hit for Izzy Franco, which will bring up now Jazz Feliciano. She's a left-handed batter. Jazz Feliciano will step in. Pitch. Strike low and away. That was a good pitch. Low and away. Strike 0-1. Feliciano is a senior. Good start so far this year, batting 429. And she's looking to see if she can follow up with back to back hits. Ball low and away. That even the count to one and one. Feliciano so far this year has a ribby, three walks, seven hits. So she flies out towards left. That'll be out play. And that'll draw the count to one and two. On first base is Izzy Franco with a clean base hit between third and short. Jazz Feliziano looking to see if they can move her over or maybe keep this rally going. Clifton looking to counter down 2 nothing here, bottom of the second. Amendinger. And it did get her. It nipped the outside corner. And that'll be the first out of the inning as she strikes out Jazz Feliziano. That'll bring up Vanessa Zapata. 
Vanessa Zapata steps in. She's playing third base today. Sophomore pitch inside 1 and 0. Pasig Valley playing shallow straight away. Infield at average depth. Zapata steps in. A 1 0 pitch. Low 2 and 0. All right, got a hitter's count here. Clifton looking to see if they could counter with a run of their own here in the second inning. Almendinger looks in the 2-0. Swing and a miss. Good pitch by Almendinger. She brought the heat on that one. And Zapata swung right through it. Count goes to 2-1. Almendinger deals. That's low, three and one. Let's see if Zapata can capitalize here on a hitter's count, three, one. Franco at first. Almendinger looks in, pitch. That looks good from here, and it is a strike. Umpire behind the plate is a little, does take some time to call the strike call, so you have to wait just a little bit. But that one was right down the middle. That'll bring the count full, three and two. And a swing and a miss. She comes back down 3-1 to strike out Zapata. And that'll be the second out of the inning for Clifton. So back-to-back -back strikeouts, which will bring up the pitcher today, Sidney Reeb. Sidney Reeb will step in with two outs. Allendinger looks in. She deals. That's a strike. Good pitch low and away. 0-1. Franco is still at first base. Maybe they'll put a hit and run on here, try to get some base runners moving for Clifton. The 0-1. That's low in the dirt. That'll even the count to 1-1. and one. Almendinger is a sophomore pitcher. So far with a slugging percentage of 933, average of 400. So she could hit. And she's tall, too. Tall kid. Ball in the dirt, 2-1. and one. Clifton to see if they get something going here in the bottom half of the second inning. Sydney Reeb at the plate. The 2-1. Swing and a miss. She strung right through it. And that'll level the count at two and two. Passaic Valley one strike away from getting out of the inning. The Passaic Valley Hornets. Passaic Valley located in Little Falls, New Jersey. All three towns of Totowa, Little Falls, and Woodland Park funnel their students into Passaic Valley. Pitch. Right back to the pitcher, Amendinger. She'll easily throw across the diamond. And that'll be all for the bottom half of the second inning for Clifton. Add one hit, no runs, no errors, and one left on base. At the end of two, Passaic Valley two, Clifton zero. We'll be back.
All right, we're back live, Christopher Columbus Stadium. Beautiful day today. Good day for softball. We are now in the top half of the third. Leadoff hitter Casey De Pasquale will step in. She is 0 for 1 today. Sydney Reap still on the mound. Pacific Valley leading 2-0, top of the third pitch. Low and away, 1-0. Casey De Pasquale Jr. so far with a high slugging percentage of 1333, batting 667, five doubles, two singles, six ribbies in his early part of the year. So she's off to a good start. She's 0 for 1 coming in, and she digs in. And though 1 0, Reed deals. That's a strike right there down a the pipe, 1 and 1. Good pitch by Reed. Reed pitching well. Got into a little bit of trouble there in the bottom half of the second. Defense let her down just a little bit with two errors. And she steps up and deals away 2-1. Pacific Valley again coming in 4-0. Undefeated. Clifton at 2-2. Two two. Reed deals. And that's a strike. Just nips the outside corner. Good pitch by Reeb. Good pitch by Reeb there to nip the outside corner. Clifton, next games, they play at Passaic, home against the Paul. Pitch. Can of corn goes right back to Reeb. Reeb under it, and she easily grabs it. Nice catch by Reeb. And that'll retire Casey De Pasquale. Pitch high and away, one and oh. My fault. That is Lily Abendiger up. My, my apologies. That was Racker with a one. one. That's a one. Uh, Lily Abendiger up. She's the pitcher. My fault. Getting lineups here in order. Pitch. Looks good. That's a strike. Amanir, she flew out to right field her first at bat. Reed deals. High and away draws the walk. So runner on for Pasig Valley. Amanir with the walk. And base on balls. All right, Bella Gomez up. Now I'm back in order again. My apologies again. Bella Gomez did fly out to center field her first up. She's Stepping into the plate. Come on, Bell. And pitch low and away. Amanigger looked like maybe she was thinking about getting to second base on a steal. Catcher Jackie Sikorsky was looking down the line there and maybe trying to get her from behind at first base. Reeve deals. That's a way 2 0. Bella Gomez comes in. 0 for 1. Bella Gomez again, Jr. Batting 182 in the early part of the year. Looking to see if she can move over Amendinger there at first. Pitch. Fly ball towards right. And it will land foul. Bella Gomez steps in. Amendinger on first one out. Deals. And that's low and away. 
So Reeb again, a little bit of trouble here on the top half of the third. Looking to see maybe we should get a double play ball, get out of the inning with one out. Gomez steps in and ball is away. I draw a cap three and one. Do they turn Almendinger loose? Gomez looks at the signs. Reeves set. Pitch. Sliced foul again. And that'll draw the count full. So Bella Gomez stepping out of the plate. Reeve looking to deal. Looks like Clifton playing a bit shallow. Infield at double play depth. Looking to see if they could turn two. Pitch. That's away. Shouldn't matter anyway because it's a walk. So it's back to back walks. And that'll bring Almendinger to second base. Bella Gomez draws the walk. So there's a man on uh, first and second. Runners on first and second, which brings up Adriana Sabatino. She has a run scored with a base hit. So she has one of the hits. Looking to see if she can get her second hit of the game. She has first and second, one out. Sabatino again. Stepping into the plate. She's a sophomore. Good start to the year so far. Ball in the dirt, 1-0. and oh. Ball's in the dirt. Good block there by Sikorsky. And that will keep Gomez at first base. Reed looking to try to find the strike zone, 1-0. Oh. Pitch. Slice towards the left-hand side, and that will be foul. Oh, it hit a car. That wasn't my car, thank goodness. Ooh, cars are so close there. you got to be careful. Count levels to 1-1. One and one. Adriana Sabatino stepping in. Look and see if she can cash in here to extend the lead for Sake Valley. Reeb deals. Again, fouled away left-hand side. Which car does it hit this time? Uh, it's the Ford. Uh, thank goodness I parked a little further down the left field line. One-two count on Sabatino. She steps in. Pitch. Rope to left field. Is it fair? No, it hits the dumpster. That'll be a foul ball. Count stays at one and two. Reeve with a higher pitch count here in the second inning. Looking to see if she can get a double play. Double play would get her out of the inning here for Clifton, which would be big. Pitch. Low and away, 2-2. Two -two. Evens up the count at two. On second base is Lily Omninger. She's the pitcher today. She drew a walk and then went to second on a walk to Bella Gomez. Back-to-back -back walks for Pasig Valley. Pitch. Swing and a miss. Fouled off, but Sikorsky caught it. There's a strikeout there for Sidney Reeb. That's a big strikeout. That is a big strikeout right there. That'll... That's two outs. And that'll bring up Danica Pasucci. Coach is coming out to the mound. Could there be a switch here? Maybe just be talking strategy. This is a big part of the game. Though it's early part of the game, it's, it's still 2 nothing. If she could somehow get out of this inning, down 2-0. Passaic Valley coming in at 4-0. They could put runs up on the board. So if Clifton can somehow get out of this inning, 2-0. They'll come up here in the bottom half of the third. So big point of the game here, early stages. And Reeb will stay in the game. All right, got two outs. And stepping up is... Danica Pasucci. She wrapped the double and scored a run in the first inning. She steps in. Pitch. High and away. 1-0. Oh.
Reeb deals. That looks good from here. Yes, it is a strike. That'll level the count at one. First and second, two outs. We are in the top half of the third. Sake Valley threatening once again. Reeb deals way outside, two and one. Reeb again, trying to see if she can get out of this inning. Get a little help from her defense. The two one. Fly it out towards center and it finds a hole. That's a base hit. That'll score Almendinger. Base hit for Pasucci. Almendinger scores. Bella Gomez goes to second. And that's a single and a ribby for Pasucci. Pitch. That's a strike goal one. Eva Garente up. Eva Garente had a ribby on a grounder. Put the ball in play in the sixth inning. In the second inning, I'm sorry, on a 6-3. Put out, but did score a run. Garente, fly ball towards center. And that's the third out as Izzy Franco puts that away. Passaic Valley does score a run. Garanti flying out to center field to end the third. And as we enter into the bottom half, score, Passaic Valley three, Clifton coming up in the bottom half of the third, zero. We'll be back. Okay, we're back. Bottom half of the third. Clifton down 3 0. Almendinger still on the hill. Vizcayano will lead off. She looks to lay down a bunt. Failed to do so. And it is a result of a strike. 0 and 1. Lily Amenhanger deals. All one way outside, one and one. Vizcaino. <clears throat> Senior. So far batting 333 on the early stages of the year. Looks to see if she can get Clifton off and running here in the third. Pitch. That's right down the middle. And that'll bring the count to one and two. Pitch inside. That's in the dirt. Levels the count at two and two. Sig Valley again playing straight away. Pitch is a called strike. That's the fourth strikeout for Amendinger to lead off. So we had we had. The third, Jackie Sikorski comes up for the second time in the game. Jackie led off with a walk and then had a stolen base in the first inning. She digs in, Amenhanger deals. 
Swing and a miss. 0-1. Oh, and one. Excuse me, Josie Sikorsi. She's a sophomore. So far batting 333. That's a strike. She has six runs scored, three hits in early stages of the year with a ribby. Looking to see if she can get on for Clifton here in the bottom half of third. Amendinger, though, is dealing. Pitch. That's in the dirt. The sun has come out here at Christopher Columbus Field. Beautiful day for a ball game. We're calling for rain in the early stages of the day, but it's cleared out, and it's absolutely beautiful. Pitch. And just high. That'll level the count at two. Look good from here. Josie Zakorski looking to see if she can get on for Clifton. Almondhanger deals just outside. Woo! That was close. That's full count. Zakorski looking to see if she can get on any way possible. Try to get some runners on base here for Clifton. Pitch. Fly out towards second on the fly, and it's caught on the fly by the second baseman, Rachel Haraka. Rachel Haraka on the grab, catches it on the fly. That'll be scored. What's up? What up, baby? How you doing? Good, 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 good. Like baby pop the pitch out. That'll be scored four on a fly out to the second baseman. Mia Joyce will come up. She struck out in the first. Left-handed batter. Pitch in the dirt. 1-0. Oh. Joyce left-handed batter. Mia Joyce. The 1-0 pitch. Amendegger digs in. Ground out to short. Across the diamond, no problems whatsoever for Sake Valley there. As the ground out goes to Adriana Sabatino, she throws across the diamond to Mia Aquino. That's the third out of the game on a 6-3. No runs, no hits, no errors. No one left on base. And at the end of three, score is 3-0. Passaic Valley. We'll be back. Okay. I didn't realize yeah. that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Remember baseball back in the days? Yeah. DH? Yeah, yeah. Because you don't hit? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Same. Yeah. Same. Same thing. All and right. It's softball. It's called flex. Gotcha. You can play anywhere in the, in the position. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Baseball was the pitcher back in the day. Gotcha. All right, here we go. As we are now on the top half of the fourth inning, Passaic Valley up three. And Mia Aquino, can of corn, and it finds a gap there between the second baseman and the right fielder. She leads off. And that'll be a clean base hit for Mia Aquino. It's a line drive in the scorebook. So Mia Aquino got on, got on in the first inning on an E3. 
And she's on first base with a clean hit here in the fourth. And foul ball. That'll be a strike as Brianna Marquez is up at the plate. Brianna Marquez had a base hit in the first inning. Pitch away. That'll be one and one. Lead off hitter on for Passaic Valley. They've had runners on base in the second, third, and now fourth inning. Reeve did get a 1-2-3 in the first inning, but there have been runners on base in the second, in which Passaic Valley scored two runs in the third, in which they scored a run. Pitch way inside. Good grasp there by the catcher, Zakorski and keeps the runner, Joyce, at first. Reeb steps in. 2-1. Uh, Rope down the left field line. Foul. I was close, but it was a foul ball, and that'll level the count at two. Reeb looking to see if she can get a double play ball here to eliminate some trouble here in the fourth inning. Reeb deals, strike, and it is a called strike three. Strikeout for Reeb. Big strikeout there. And that will be the first out of the inning. And that is the second strikeout for Reeb. And Casey DePasquale, leadoff hitter, will step in. She is 0 for 2 so far in the game. Grounder to short. And then she also grounded back to the pitcher. Reeb deals. Grounder short. Coy out of the reach of Coy, just beyond her grasp. That'll be scored as a base hit. That'll move Joyce over to second. Joyce moves over to second. That's the second hit of the inning for Pasig Valley, which will bring up Rachel Haraka. Haraka is 0 for 2. Rachel Haraka, third plate appearance here in the fourth inning. Reeb looking to deal. Strike. She nips the outside corner. 0 in 1. Third inning in a row in which Sig Valley has had multiple base runners. Reeb dealing again. And that's a clean base hit down between the left hand, uh, right field and the, and the center fielder. She throws in. That'll score one. That'll score two. Clean base hit for Casey DePasquale. That's a double. I'm sorry, Rachel Haraka with a clean double. That's a two base hit with two ribbies as Aquino scored along with Casey DePasquale. She scored a run. And a double for Haraka brings up Lily Amendinger, the pitcher, pitch low in the dirt. That was a base hit between the center fielder and the right fielder. And Passaic Valley stringing together some hits. Amendinger steps in, fly ball left field. And oh, it's dropped out in left field. <laughs> It's dropped out in left field by the left fielder, Jazz Feliciano. That will score a run. That will be an E7. E7 scores Haraka. Looked like a routine fly ball, but Vizcayano drifting towards the fence. Could not handle it, so that would bring up Bella Gomez. Pitch away. 
One out here in the fourth. Passaic Valley pleading three more runs as they lead six to zero. Pitch sliced to the right hand side. Bella Gomez coming in with a fly out towards center and a base on balls. Bella Gomez batting fourth today. Pitch low in the dirt, 2 1 count. Almendinger on first, on second rather. That's the third error of the game for Clifton. They had two errors in the second, one more here so far in the fourth pitch in the dirt. Brings the count to 3 1. Reeve throwing a lot of pitches here. Looking to see if somehow, some way, she could escape this inning with one out. She does have a strikeout here in the inning. Pitch inside, and that'll draw a walk. Bella Gomez to first with a base on balls. Adriana Sabatino will come up. She has a single and a run scored, and she struck out in the third. Here with one out. Runners on first and second and third. So we got the bases loaded here. Pitch. Ground at a third. Off the third baseman. Coy looking to see what she can do. She can't find anything to do. Almendinger goes to third. Run will score. That's Haraka. I'm sorry, that makes it six. So Adriana Sabatino, that would be a base hit. All right, that scores Amendinger. And this will bring up Danica Pasucci. Conference right outside home plate. Sig Valley's coach speaking with the umpire and looks like her batter. A little bit of trouble here for Clifton. And so looking to see somehow, some way, if they can get out of this inning. Six nothing Pasig Valley. He ran right into it. Oh, if he would have stayed still, it would have been a ton of it. But he took like three steps to his right and it curved right into it. Oh, Almond Digger is Pitch. Strike. Imagine the throw. Score is 6 0. One out here in the fourth inning. Uh, Pasig Valley can't score runs. Ball inside. That'll bring it to one and one. Base is still loaded. Danica Pasucci up. She has a double and a run scored and a single and a ribby. So she's off to a good start today. Has another chance here to bring in some runs. Pitch. Grounders short. Coy will go home. And the force is at home. That's a good play by Kira Coy. That'll be a 6-2 put out. Oh, I'm sorry, 5-2. Five 5-2 two. Five two put out. Coy with a very good play there. Very poised. Went home with the play. Forced out Almendinger. And that'll be the second out of the game. Stepping in is Ava Garente. Garente with a ribby, and she's flowed out to center. Pitch high and away, 1-0. Oh. Reeb looking to see if somehow she can get out of this inning. Still pitch. High. Eva Garente again. Stepping in. Bases are still loaded. Two outs. Pitch. Inside. I draw the count to two and one. Breeze has picked up just a little bit here at Christopher Columbus Field. Clouds have started rolling in too. Sun has now disappeared. Pitch. 
outside, and that'll draw a walk and a ribby. Garanti, that'll be her second ribby of the game. And that'll score a run. That'll make it seven. Mia batting for the second time in this inning. Steps in. Ball away. So Sake Valley has batted around here in the fourth. Mia Aquino in the fourth inning. This will be the third plate appearance. She reached base on an E3. Also has a base hit and a run scored so far today. Actually has a run scored in this inning. Mia Aquino. Reeves struggling to find the plate. She deals. Swing and a miss. Clifton somehow, some way, looking to try to get out of this inning and come up and try to get some runs of their own. Reeb deals. High upstairs, 2-1. I'm wondering if this may be Reeves' last inning. A lot of pitches thrown here through four innings. Passaic Valley could certainly score some runs. They're doing so again here today. Pitch. Grounder out towards third, and it's through for a base hit. Clean base hit will score a run. And Mia Aquino with her second hit of the game. Will score a run. That'll make it. Mia Aquino with a base hit. With another run. So Brianna Marquez will come up. She struck out earlier in the inning. And that looked away, but it was a called strike. 0 and 1. Strike two. Sydney Reeves, sophomore, doing the best she can, trying to get out of this inning. Bases juiced again. Low and away, one and two. Brianna Marquez has a base hit. Struck out earlier in this inning. Faces a one two pitch from Reeves. Pitch. Fly ball towards center, and it'll be the third out. Nice catch there by Izzy Franco. Will retire the side. As Clifton will come up on the bottom half of the fourth inning. We'll be back. I love that you called it Izzy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it is eight, right? Yeah, eight, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. back at Christopher Columbus Middle School Stadium here in Clifton, New Jersey. Kira Coy will step in. She flew out to center her first plate appearance. 
Here batting only for the second time. Lily Ammendinger dealing. Ground out towards short. Across the diamond. Easy play. 6-3. As Sabatino throws across the diamond to Aquino. 6-3 put out. Or I should say 5-3. I'm sorry. 5-3. 5-3 put out for Kiera Coy. On the first pitch. Next up, Jordan Kalesa. She struck out in the first inning. As she digs in. Clifton again down 8 nothing here. Bottom of the fourth. Looking to see somehow if they get some runners on base. Put pressure on Almendinger. Pitch. Fouled away 0-1. Passaic Valley after today will play versus Wayne Valley at home. Hawthorne at home. Fairlawn at home and Glen Rock at home. So they have four straight home games after today. Passaic Valley from Little Falls, New Jersey, of course. Pitch. And slice towards second. Good play. Very nice play there by Rachel Haraka, as it looked like it may have found the seam, but Haraka was able to, towards the left hand shoulder, put her glove out and make the catch. So that'll be a four put out. Four. Izzy Franco will step in. She has a base hit in the second inning. She has the lone hit so far for Clifton. Pitch. Fly ball towards right. Is it playable? Haraka looking to play, and it's just beyond her reach. And I'll be strike one. Isabella Franco, she's a junior, batting 286 thus far in the year. Two hits, a ribby. And she's looking to see with two outs if she can get something going here for Clifton down 8 nothing in the bottom half of the fourth. I'm a nigger to a righty. She's a sophomore. Pitch. Looked away. Now be 1-1. One, one. Look close. Evens the count at 1. Franco again, the only hit so far for Clifton. They did draw a walk in the first. They've had two base runners on so far. Amendinger has one, two, three, four, five Ks so far. Looking for her sixth as she looks in. Pitch. Sliced towards the left field line. Foul. That'll draw the count to two and two. Sig Valley again playing straight away. Slight breeze left to right. Amendinger deals. Grounder towards third. Cleanly fielded across the diamond, and that is a good play there by the third baseman, Bella Gomez. Bella Gomez across the diamond to Aquino will end the inning. One, two, three for Clifton. And at the end of four, Passaic Valley eight, Clifton zero. We'll be back. Just batting. That was a low ball swing. Um, number one, I'll tell you right now, I don't know her name. Oh, one second. I'll tell you right now. I appreciate that. Because I don't have the numbers. One. Uh, her name is Andrea so, so, Sedina. Andrea, number one. Andrea Sedina. Got it. Got it. Got it. Thank you. All right.
Okay, we're back now on the top half of the fifth inning. We have a new pitcher in for Clifton. Her name is Andrea Cedeno. She is a freshman. And leading off for Passaic Valley, Casey DePasquale. So Cedeno will pitch here in the fifth. Reeb. Fly ball towards right it is playable and it's caught. Got a girl. Nice job there by the left fielder. Jazz Feliziano making the catch. One up, one down. So fly ball towards left. Rachel Haraka digs in. She's grounded out towards short. Fly ball towards pop up to the first baseman. And she had a double and a run scored in the last inning. This is her fourth plate appearance. Rachel Haraka. Sedano deals. Outside. Sedano, a freshman. Coming into pitch in relief of Reeb. Reeb four innings pitch, seven hits, five earned runs, eight runs in total. Three of them unearned. Pitch looks good from here. That's a strike. Sedinio so looking to see if somehow, some way she can get a one, two, three inning and get Clifton back up bat here in the bottom half of the fifth. Sedano, freshman, deals. Grounder out towards short. Coy Fields. Crossed the diamond easily and a nice put out. Nice play by Kira Coy. And that'll be a 5 3. Two up, two down so far for Passaic Valley. Passaic Valley has had runners on base in the last three innings. They were 1 2 3 in the first, but have had base runners, multiple base runners in the last three innings. Here is Lily Amenigger. She's been pitching today. She digs in. And low. No, it's called a strike. She gets the call on the inside corner. Sedano, freshman, facing Amenigger, sophomore. Amenigger has two runs scored so far today. Pitch. Fly out towards center field. Is it playable? Yes, it's caught by actually the left fielder. Nice job there again by... Jazz Feliziano with the catch. And that'll be a 1-2-3 inning. So good job by Cedeno, the freshman, coming in. Almendinger flies out. That's the second time in the game that she's flown out towards left field. And coming up to bat, it will be Clifton. Clifton will be coming up on the bottom half of the fifth inning, leading off with Feliziano, followed by Zapata, and then Reeb. We'll be back. I thought Senna was going to catch that one. Yeah, if Feliciano was playing like yeah. that. Come again? Jazz. Jazz. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jazz. Yeah, yeah. yeah, thank you.
Okay, welcome back. We are now in the bottom half of the fifth. Looks like a pitching change for Passaic Valley. Aquino's in. Amenigger went to center field. Amenigger again. Pitched the first four innings of the game. One hit. No runs. Of course, no earned runs. Base on balls in five Ks. Aquino comes in. In the bottom half of the fifth, facing Jazz Feliziano. Pitch. Inside. Feliziano is only second plate appearance. She struck out in the second. Again, Clifton with only two base runners thus far as we are in the fifth. Aquino left-handed pitcher deals. Sky towards left field, and that will be a foul ball. Feliziano coming in. Senior, so far batting 429. Has two runs scored, three total hits, a ribby. So she's looking to see if she can get on here to lead off the fifth inning. Slice down the left field line, just foul. Just foul, she's going that way, trying to find the gap. Couldn't find it there, count still one and two. Aquino is a senior pitcher. And she's pitching here in the fifth inning. Almanegger pitched the first four innings. Deals and right to the third baseman was Feliciano. And the third baseman is Bella Gomez. And that'll be the first out of the game. Uh, of the inning, I'm sorry. First out of the inning. And we go to... Wait, hang on. Uh, that's a play that a catcher. Nice play by the catcher there. Nice job there. That'll be a 2-3 put out. And the first two runners are out for Clifton. Good defense there by Pasig Valley. With two outs, McQueen all dealing. Two, that'll be a two, wait, two, three. Seven. Eight nothing the score. Bottom half of the fifth. Clifton looking to see if they can get their first but base runner since the second inning. Aquino left-handed dealer, and that's a strike. She nips the outside corner. Good pitch there by Aquino. Clifton after today will play at the sake, home against the pole. Actually, they uh, played the poll twice in a row at home here at the stadium. And then they're at the Sake Tech, at Bergen Tech. So, at the Sake, and then they have two home games against the poll on the 13th and 15th of this month. Early stages of the season, playing a tough opponent here in Pasig Valley. Aquino steps in. Two strike pitch, fouled away. Pitch. Can of corn and Oh, it just eludes the grasp of the shortstop. That'll be a base hit. First base hit of Clifton for Clifton since the second inning. So a base hit. We'll bring up ninth batter, Vizcaino. Mia Aquino dealing. Clifton with a runner on first. Looking to see if they could scratch their first run of the game pitch. Strike. Flicker, flicker. 
Good pitch there by Aquino right down the pipe. 0 1 count. Aquino deals. She looks to lay it down, and it's a foul ball. That'll draw the count to 0 and 2. Aquino with the 0 2 count, looking to see if she can get out of this inning. Pitch. And. That's a called strike three. Strike out there for Aquino will end the inning as we go into the top half of the sixth. Pasake Valley eight, your Clifton Mustang zero. Okay, welcome back. As we are now in the top half of the six, Pasig Valley up 8-0. Pitch low and inside, 1-0. and oh. Andrea Cedeno coming in as a freshman. Did a nice job last inning. Was able to get Pasig Valley 1-2-3. And Bella Gomez up to the plate. Gomez with two base on balls and a run scored. Cedeno deals. Right up the middle, that's a clean base hit. Clean base hit for Bella Gomez will lead off the inning here in the sixth inning. So PV threatening again here in the sixth, up 8 nothing. Cedeno coming in second inning pitched. A lot of first hit right there. Here comes Adriana Sabatino. Sabatino has two hits and a run scored. Cedeno deals. That's another rope up the middle. That's a base hit. That'll move over Gomez to second. Two consecutive hits for Pasig Valley. Good play there by Izzy Franco, throwing the ball in quickly. Keeps the runner at second. First and second, though, no out. And we have Danica Pasucci in. She has a double, a single, a ribby, and a run scored. Pitch. Fly out towards center. Is it there? Can it be there? It falls in the gap. Goes to third. And did she get it? No, the ball is safe. The third baseman cannot catch the ball. Looked like they could have been a force there. Hey, good suit. But Zapata could not hold the ball. Franco threw it into third base. Looked like the ball was there, but the ball could not be caught by the third baseman. Thus, coach is coming out and looks like he's having a discussion with an umpire. I'm um, not sure what's going on just right now. Seems to be a conversation on the mound. Um... Not sure it's over the call 
but the runner was ruled safe because the third baseman did not catch the ball on the fly. There's a meeting on the mound now with Cedeno. First three base runners are on base now. Pasucci with a base hit. And this brings up Ava Garente. So three straight hits for Pasig Valley. Ava Garente comes up. She has a ribby. She actually has two ribbies so far today. Ava Garente stepping in with no one out. The base is loaded. Freshman Cedeno in a little bit of trouble. She had a 1-2-3 in the last inning. First three batters here on base here in the sixth. She deals. Strike. Good pitch there by Cedeno. Get ahead of the hitter. 0-1. Ava Garente stepping in. Ava Garente. Pitch. Rope down the third base line. Foul ball. I'll run the count to 0 and 2. She's a sophomore. Ava Garente having a good game today. Putting the ball in play. Couple ribbies. Batting 182 coming in, but she's had a productive day here in Clifton. The 0-2 from Cedeno. Base is loaded. That looks good from here, and it is a cold strike. Good pitch there by Cedeno. Gets the strikeout on Garante for the first out of the inning. This will bring up Mia Aquino. Mia coming in, stepping in with a couple hits and a run scored. Pitch. High and away, 1-0. and Pasig Valley here threatening again. They've had multiple runners on base in the second. Third, fourth, and now sixth inning. Pitch. Way upstairs, 2-0. Nowhere to go. Daniel's got to throw strikes. Base on balls will score a run. Looks like Clifton playing halfway in. Seeing they can cut off the run at the plate. Pitch inside 3-0. and Outfield playing straight away and shallow. Cedeno in a little bit of trouble here. First three batters on base with hits. Was able to get the last hitter on a strikeout. Here, 3 0. Pitch. Way upstairs. And that'll be a base on balls and a ribby for Aquino. That'll be base on balls. Gomez will score. Sabatino will go to third. And Pasucci will go to second. So that'll make it nine for Pasig Valley. Base is still juiced. Cedeno, the freshman, looking to see if somehow, some way, maybe she could get into a double play here. Cedeno deals. Fly ball towards, actually, it's a foul ball towards the right hand side. I'm sorry. Way out of place. Daniel gets ahead in the count, 0-1. Daniel, good poise for a freshman. Able to throw strikes. Allowing PV to put the ball in play. She's just finding the gaps. But she's able to throw strikes, which is a good sign for a freshman. Pitch. Fouled back, 0-2. Strikeout here would be key. And they can move the infield back. They're halfway right now, looking to see if they can cut off the run there at the plate. Looks like there'll be a uh, running um, a change here for Passaic Valley on the base paths. Count remains 0-2. Cedeno looks in. The 0-2. Way outside, 1-2. and two. Coy backing up her pitcher just because in the event that the ball avoids the pitcher, she's there. 
Good heads up play there by Coy. Cedeno sets and delivers. Can of corn left side, and Coy there will easily handle it. And that'll be the second out of the inning. Coy with a put out. As we head up to the top of the order with Casey De Pasqua. Sedania with two outs. Here we are in the top half of the sixth. Pitch. Rope down the third base. That's a base hit. That'll score a run. That'll score two runs. Home plate. Play at the plate is Carter at the plate. Nice throw. Wow. Jazz Feliziano there with a throw home. What's the call here? What's going on? That should have What is the call? It looked like the runner was thrown out at the home. That would have been the third out, but I'm not exactly sure what happened here. What's the call? Sorry, I can't help you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not sure exactly what happened there. It looks like they're gathering at pitcher's mound. That was a base hit with two runs scored. Well, run scored. The second one was nabbed at the plate. What's the call there? Not exactly sure, but the run actually, yeah, the run will score. And we have Rachel Haraka now up at the plate. Rachel Haraka is one for four. And I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. The coach is coming out, talking to the umpire. Uh, what's the call here? Seeing it live, unfortunately, we have no replay, but seeing it, yeah, seeing it live, it looked like the runner was cut off at the plate, but there must have been a call, and coach is looking for clarification. Unfortunately, not good for Clifton, because obviously it keeps the inning alive. Um, it was a great play there by Jazz Feliziano. She threw out runner at plate, but not exactly sure what the call was there. Uh, but looks like Sake Valley will still be up with Rachel Haraka with runners on second and third. Pitch. Upstairs, 1 0. Rachel Haraka again has a double, a run scored. Playing well in the field also. Vizcaino, pitch. Or rather, Sedeno, pitch. Outside, 2 0. Cedeno, freshman, 2-0 pitch. Roped, base hit in the gap. That'll go all the way to the warning track. Clifton will look to throw in, but that'll score a couple runs. Rachel Haraka with a double and two ribbies. It'll score two more runs as Pasig Valley pouring it on here in the sixth inning with multiple runs. Pasucci scores and Aquino scores. It's a four-run sixth inning for Sig Valley. And stepping in, on, Lil. Lily Omnir. She has a couple of runs scored based on balls. Pitched the first four innings of the game. Pitch. Grounded towards third, just foul. That'll even the count at one. Thirteen nothing here, Pasig Valley. Pasig Valley has shown that they can score runs. Seventeen runs in their first game versus Pasig. Ten runs against Verona. Nine against Hills. That'll be Wayne Hills, and here they go. Thirteen against Clifton. So, 
They were ranked second in power points in their conference for a reason. They got a team that could hit. Almond Digger digs in. Sedanio looking to get out of the inning pitch. Upstairs. Fouled back. She was right on top of it, fouled it back. Runner on second. Chance for a ribby here for Almond there. Sedanio, the freshman, trying to work through it. Pitch. Fly ball towards left field, right field rather, and it is caught. Good play there by Jackie Viscaino playing right field. Good catch there to end the inning. And that'll end the sixth inning with the score. Sig Valley 13, Clifton coming up to bat in the sixth. Okay, we're back here at Christopher Columbus Stadium as we are in the bottom half of the sixth. Clifton down 13 to nothing. I'm Marcello Monti on the mic today, filling in for Vinny Churachillo. Vinny going to the Yankee game today. So I was more than happy to fill in for Vinny. Of course, Harry on the camera, Harry Van de on the camera, Mark Mecca, of course, captain of the ship. Here also film all live stream sports for varsity here at Clifton. Here in the spring, girls softball, balls, boys baseball, boys volleyball, and of course boys and girls lacrosse as the first batter is retired right back to Aquino to start the sixth inning. That's a 2-3 put out for Zakorski. So, we'll be busy. All Clifton Varsity live stream home games. Live streamed. That'll run us right up until about Memorial Day weekend. We're more than proud to do it. We enjoy doing it. For those of you at home, hopefully you're enjoying it too. Joyce at the plate. She's 0 for 2. She struck out in the first. Ground out to third in uh, in the third inning. Ground out to third base in the third inning is 6-3. Mia Joyce looking to see if she can get on for Clifton. Aquino, the left-handed pitcher for Pasig Valley, deals. That's low in, one and one. Again, Clifton at Pasig. And they're home for two games for against the pole. And then at the sake tech, that'll be their next four games. Pitch. High and away, two and one. Mia Joyce, senior. So far having a very good year at the plate. She has six runs scored, six hits, five ribbies. Looking to see if she can get on for Cliff. She can scratch her run on the board for Clifton High School here. Pitch. Grounded towards second, and she'll be safe. Good hustle by Joyce. She'll look to get the second base, and she will. 
Good hustle. Nice play there by Mia Joyce. That'll be a base hit. And she advances to second on the E4. So the third hit of the game for Clifton. This will bring up Kira Coy, senior, looking to see if she can get something going here. Pitch outside 1-0. Oh. Joyce in running in scoring position. And this is only the second time in the game in which Clifton has had a runner in scoring position. First time since the first inning when Sikorsky drew a walk and then stole second. Fly towards the right. That'll be a foul ball. Kara Coy stepping in. She is a senior batting 500 at the plate. She so far has three ribbies in this early part of the season with five hits, three runs scored, four base hits. Looking to see if she can wrap a single here to get first run of the game for Clifton. Pitch. High. I'll draw the count to Two and one. Aquino coming in. Outfield for Pacific Valley playing fairly deep. Ball wrapped towards first base, and that'll be a foul ball. So Coy steps in with two strikes. Again, Kara Coy 0 for 2 so far in the game. Fly out to right, and she grounded out to short. Pitch. That's low and away. That should draw the count full. Aquino steps in. Pitch. Wait out, Sarah. That's a... That's a ball, so Coy draws the walk. This is the first time in the game in which Clifton has had multiple runners on base, base on balls for Coy. So first and second with one out, Jordan Kalesa at the plate. Strikeout, and then a pop-up towards second. So first and second for Clifton. First time in the game in which they've had multiple runners on base. Opportunity here for maybe score a run or two. Here in the bottom half of the sixth. Aquino deals. Down the first baseline, looks like a fair ball. That'll be an out. That was a good play there by the first baseman, Pasek Valley. It looked like it may have hit the bag. Maybe hit her glove and then hit the bag. It was able to put the put out. That moves over the runners to second and third, which will bring up Izzy Franco. So Franco here with a ribby chance. She has two ducks on a pond, two outs. Jordan Kalesa has put out three. And Izzy Franco steps in. She has a base hit, and she's grounded out to short foul back 0-1. So she's got a base hit in the second. Ground out to short in the fourth. This is her third plate appearance with runners on second and third. Franco again batting 286. Couple hits so far in the early part of the season with a ribby. Chance here. Fly ball towards right. And what's the call? It looks like it's a foul ball. Wow, that must have been close. It's hard to tell from this angle. I'm over in center field looking straight in. You know, it had to be close. If it was in, certainly would have scored two runs easily. So she steps in again. Looking to see if she could put the ball in play anywhere. Pitch. Up the middle, shortstop plays it over, and it's a 
6-3 put out to end the inning. And Clifton retired with no runs scored. So they did get a hit and a base on balls. With one left on base, or two left on base, I'm sorry. So as we head into the last inning of the game, top half of the... Oh, that is the game. I'm sorry. I apologize. I didn't realize that the game was over. The game is over now. Passaic Valley and Clifton exchanging hands. Good sportsmanship on both sides. As Passaic Valley are victorious, 13 to nothing. Clifton did have an opportunity in the last inning to score runs, but fell a little short. But good game overall. Happy to bring it to you. This is Marcello Monti along with Harry Vanderway and Mark Mecca. Look forward to seeing you once again. Have a good day, folks.